Hey folks, this is Nod, and we are mucking around with Explain. Right, today I do not want to talk to you about this Aero L29 Delphin. Um, however, I did buy this, and the reason I bought it is it comes with this rather smart glider. This is an L19... Um, L19... No, it is not an L19. It's an L13 Blanick. Um, a lot of my RC buddies actually fly these. Um, they're actually kind of a popular giant scale RC plane, but uh, yes, I've... Uh, have some experience with it because of that. It's got a cool forward swept wing which is uh, indicative of like trainers because of the when well, they take the uh, the instructor out the idea is that the uh, the student pilot can sit in the front and it doesn't change the CG because the CG is pretty much right where the instructor would sit ordinarily so it's kind of why it's uh, got the forward swept wings which is anyway that's uh, irrelevant to all this stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fly this glider and um, I haven't really done any serious glider flying with it. I I sort of, uh, I actually picked this up, I don't know, two, three months ago, and uh, I never really used it. I kind of had to go with it, and I was like, mm, yeah, I don't know. I am going to try it out on Peter's um, Oban track. He made it here in Scotland. Uh, this is um, a glider course, a, a task, and I've got to fly through around all these points. Uh, I think this is Loch Ness right here. Uh, let me open it up on the big map here. Here's the course. Uh, let me show you kind of where we are in the world. Give you a little context there. Okay, so there's England. We're up the top of Scotland here, and uh, yeah, I think there's Loch Ness and all, Ben Nevis and all these other fine Scottish places. So here's the course here, and uh, yeah, I don't know. We're just going to go around this way. So um, what's challenging about this course is these mountains are, well, they're more or less just hills. The highlands, I guess, but uh, they're not all that mountainous, but they're... Um, yeah, they're a little challenging because they're um, they're a bit shallow and uh, plus the wind is only blowing at eight knots right now, which uh, you know what I think I might actually do something about. Let's have a look at the uh, settings here. All right, weather. So I'm I got the real world weather turned on. Looks like we've got a few cumulus clouds, really low, which could be interesting. Um, but I'm only getting eight knots at the surface right now. Getting 25 knots up, nice and high. Kind of coming in from the northish, northwestish, yeah, a sort of northwest wind, which will work for this course, I believe. But eight knots—that's going to be pretty miserable. So, yeah, I think we're going to bump that up a little bit. We're going to give ourselves like—I uh, don't know. I don't want to go too much because it is a low wind, and I kind of want to fly the conditions. So let's let's go with like, let's go lucky 13 knots. What do you say? I'm not going to change the dis the direction or anything like that. I'm going to give myself a little bit of thermals, though, just, you know, just maybe a smattering, 6%. All right, so there's no turbulence, none of that craziness. It's all pretty smooth. Ooh, we've got a lot of wind shear. That's interesting. 35 degree wind shear. Well, that's part of the conditions. We're going to leave that in. I don't know what that, how that's going to affect us. We'll see. But anyway, all right, so everything else is more or less the same. I'm going to pop up visibility just to make the video look pretty. All right. Yeah, okay. So let's, uh, let's get going here. And, before I forget, I also want to kind of showcase uh, Richard's um, X-Winch uh, plugin, which uh, he produced for us, which is absolutely marvelous. It's available on our uh, Facebook group, exclusively right now, I should mention, although I don't know if he has any plans to upload it to the org store, we shall see. But um, anyway, let me show you this thing. This is brilliant. So it's a lure script, a fly with lure script, which I always have lots of fun finding. Uh, fly with lure, macros... Okay, winch control panel, open close. So here it is. So what this lets you do is uh, it adjusts the, all the, all the um, parameters of your winch. So I don't know, this font is a little hard to read sometimes depending on your monitor resolution, but for example, I've got 950 feet, I presume, of winch. So I'm gonna crank that up to something obscene like, uh, I don't know, 3,500 feet of winch line. Let's try that. That should be lots of winch. Okay. And uh, you can change the brake horsepower and the, uh, the the ramp up time, how long it takes to get up to full speed, I guess, five seconds. And the winch speed, we're going to do 55 knots. But generally, I just change the, the length, to be honest. I haven't actually mucked with this other stuff too much. I could crank the horsepower up and tear the wings off the thing. That'd be fun. Now, we're going to try that. So, um, all right, so that's set. Oh, look at this. Somebody's just pulled out on the runway in front of me. It's okay, we're on a winch, so we're just going to go up right above him. It looks like the cable is actually above him. Whoa, what's going on? Yikes! 
What the heck is going on here? Wind just change? I don't think so. I think I figured out why this thing is always windmilling. It's got a castring tail wheel. It's not doing it right now, but uh, I was just doing it a second ago. It was the uh, tail was just going all over the place. Anyway, this is the Blanik. Here she is. Um, it's got a pretty nice cockpit, I would say. The textures are all kind of nice and everything. And uh, um, yeah, all right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna turn her on. That turns the main power on, I believe. And um, yeah, it's the parking brake, various other things. Let's have a look at the outside real quick. Show her off here. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's a vintage glider. It's not like the fast glass stuff you'd see. I think this is like a wooden or aluminum or who knows how this, what this thing's made out of. But it's not composite and fiberglass and Kevlar and all that stuff. So she's a good old bird, an old timer, which I kind of like. I actually own an RC plane that's very similar to this. A little concerned about it windmilling into the wind there, though. It's a little bit of a crooked start. Anyway, let's get going here. So, you get this in the air here. All right, so I got two variometers here. One's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, airspeed's a little weird. I guess this, I guess it red lines at, well, it goes up to 200 and then, yeah, okay, okay. So 200 is max, and then this is all sort of very dangerous speeds. Yeah, it's a little hard to read this, isn't it? Okay, well, I, I think you should, I normally like to fly it around 80 or 90. I say normally, I've almost never flown this. Anyway, enough babbling. Let's get going here. So, okay, feet on the toe brakes. Now, it's got this mapped a little strange here. Okay, it looks like that. All right, so there's the spoilers. Okay, that's my throttle channel, which is a little strange. I normally have this mapped a little differently. The flaps I don't have a thing for, so I'm just going to do those manually. Okay, this is the parking brake, which I believe is off now. Mm-hmm. Okay, don't ever hit this. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you this later. Don't hit that. That's very bad. Don't open the canopy. Use this thing. All right, let's get this thing in the air. So. I believe what we need to do, we just need to get up the top of this hill, right at the top of it. And we want to stay within a lower than a thousand feet, which I, goodness knows what that is in kilometers, because the altimeter is in kilometers, which is lots of fun. I think it's 0.3 of a kilometer or something. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, actually, that's not even set right, is it? Whatever. Anyway. Um, okay, so we're just going to go to the top of that hill over there, which is sort of that hill there. Okay, very good. Got my bearings. Let's get underway. Crooked is where we are, though. Oh, yeah, now maybe you can see it. Cast. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> look at this crazy tailwheel. Yeah, that's just a brilliant feature. Just what you want in any glider. <laughs> it is sort of... No, it's not steering by anything, is it? Yeah, it's completely casting tailwheel, that is. <laughs> just windmilling. Okay, well, hopefully we can kind of get this thing straight as soon as I uh, release, uh, tell the winch guy to start up. So, let's see what happens. Here we go. Whiplash. Boing! And up we go. Very nice, very nice. Alright, so I don't have to take, I don't know, I've put three and a half thousand feet of a winch line on this thing, but the truth is all we need is just the top of the hill here. So that should just be fine. So let's just get up a little bit here. Popping away. Very cool. Oh, that's a cool perspective. I like that. All right, how are we doing here? Getting a little crazy. All right, this height looks pretty good. So I got a lot more on the winch, but I don't really need it for this task. Plus, I want to kind of start at a reasonable height here. I don't want to be sort of cheating. So just need to fly over, uh, over the top of this little hill here. I hope. And we should pick up some lift once we get on the other side of it. So where I'm at. See me heading over to the uh, thing here. And the wind's coming from this direction, so as soon as we get around the edge here, we should start picking up some lift. Actually, you know what, I'm going to kind of go to the left here. Looks like we're high enough though, so maybe I'll just go straight for the uh, 
the starting position. Now I've run this course once before, I did that in the uh, Antares and uh, yeah I actually ended up landing out. <laughs> we had really low winds of like uh, 8 knots and it didn't go well. So um, yeah I'm hoping it will go better this time. One thing I will say about this uh, panel is that that bar here is, is kind of in the way, isn't it? Exactly what I'm looking at down here. Adjust the uh, position, seat position in this, maybe. Let's see if we can do that real quick. Make it just a little bit better. What am I doing here? Go down one notch. You have it up one notch. Just kind of. Hmm. We'll see how that does. All right. How are we doing here? Coming up on our start position. I'm gonna say we're below a thousand feet, but. Uh, we're not that high off the hill here, so I think this is a really decent start. Now, one thing I will say is there's no variometer in this thing, which is one of my pet peeves with it, and one of the reasons I kind of like gave up on it almost immediately, because uh, I was like, well, how can I fly a glider without a variometer? But I do have the variometer gauges, so I just don't have the vario tone, I should say. It does, it does have variometers, but not the tone. So hopefully we'll see these go up here. In some ways that's nice though, because you don't have to listen to that beep 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 noise. Drive you nuts. But I'm hoping we'll get some lift once we get around the air edge here. Alright, so as I start, I'm going to start my stopwatch here. And the clock is ticking. Okay, so I'm going to head on course here. I'm not getting a whole lot of lift though, are we? Right, well, I'm just going to kind of head that way and hope I can hook into these hills over here. Uh, there's a little something over here I could probably be playing with too. Let's see how long this takes me to get around. Yeah, this is not a fast glider either. Actually, I should be flying above that mark, don't I? Speed up a little bit here. Yeah, that feels a little better. Just the trim here a bit. Okay, there we go. So it feels pretty good. Ah, okay, now we get a little bit of lift. Maybe that's just the stick lift. Pulling back on it. Don't know. Try to get in over here soon, though. This might be a very short video. We shall see. <laughs> yeah, what is this? Kilometers an hour? Yeah, it's sort of comparable to the... Uh, the ASK-21 that likes to fly around, what, 90, not 90 kilometers an hour or something? I don't know, maybe I got that wrong. She's not a slick, fast glass sort of bird, though. She's a... Oh, she looks like she's aluminum. I see a lot of rivets and bolts and stuff. Yeah, we're gonna need some lift soon here. Getting a little apprehensive about this. Boat map here. Uh, this gives me some better idea of what we got in. Yeah, really flat around here. The further apart these topographical lines are, the flatter the train is. The closer they are together, the steeper the train is. Mm. Okay, so we want to head over to here. It's got our wind going straight at that sort of Yeah, we can climb to the top of Ben. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Ben Burke. Greek. <laughs> Sorry, all Scottish people that are watching this. Brutalizing that. Alright, so we're gonna head over there, so let's see what happens. So far so good though. This bar is still in my way though, even though I adjusted my seat. I need to bring the nose up a little bit. No, I don't really, do I? I should be looking over the top of it. You know what? I think I should actually. <laughs> I think I've got that backwards, don't I? This thing. That looks good. We'll look over the top of it. That's, that'll work. Alright, so we're kind of going slow for now until we get over there. Looks tempting to go over there though, but yeah, I want to get up on top of that, I think. So we should be getting 
encountering some lift pretty soon. A little bump here. Yeah, it's weird without the vario tone. I'm like, I was flying sort of deaf here. Yeah, you fly enough of that with that vario tone, you almost become like, like another sense. You know, you, know, you really sort of like a feel the glider just based on that tone. But without it, it's like, you know, it's like you're blind. We're just cranking along at 75 knots. Well, looks like we still got some altitude here. I'm not panicking yet. There's really nowhere else to go though. I can't really fly downhill. So we're either going to get lift here or this is going to be a very short flight. And down in the trees, which would be very bad for this airplane, especially as I just bought it. Barely flew the thing and then I just trashed it in the trees. Well, that ain't happening. At least not yet. Okay, so I should be encountering some lift soon. Let's uh, see if we can engage the hill a little sooner. It's not the best angle, but at least I'll be getting a lift. Some lift over here, maybe. Needles to go up, that may make me happy. Beep, 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 Yep, it's going up a little bit. It's good. Not really slowly though. But I don't want to drop the nose anymore just yet. Come on, I need you to give me something here. Yes, this is looking better. Sort of. As I said, this is a challenging course. It's not exactly got a the steepest of cliffs. It's all sort of mellow stuff like this. Yikes. All right, well, we're going up. I'm happy now. I think I'm going to go up some backtracking here, though. I think we can probably want to get all I can out of this hill before we move on. around a little bit more. It's my steep stuff over here. Or I could just go straight this stuff over here. You know what? Uh, I want to use uh, this hill is safe right now. I want to get some uh, I want to get some altitude off it. Okay, we're getting a little downwindish here, so let's go back and uh, get to the top of that and then I'll be able to be in much better shape for all the other hills around here. Speed's a little better. Up past the tree line there. We get some crazy altitude now. <laughs> yeah, it's tough keeping that speed going. Yeah, it's one of those quietest where the nose just feels lower than it should be. So I keep this uh bar thing on the way of the horizon. Even more so, I would say. Alright, are we still going up? Yeah, we are. See, we're doing much better now. Yeah, I can't keep that speed up, though. Gotta get used to this bird. Yeah, the ASK the ASK-21 is really sort of airspeed stable and it's not that finicky. It doesn't like oscillate all that much. Once you get it you know, into a groove, it'll just kind of stay there. It's nice. The Antares, I noticed, and, uh, and this as well. They, they tend to lose their airspeed if you don't, don't stay on top of it. Keep the nose down. All right, I think we're good now. I got some decent height to play with for emergencies. Better than the last pass here. Then we shall proceed on. So I got this open one waypoint out here I gotta head to, which means I gotta go around this point. 
over there. It's all right. Still got a little bit more of this mountain I can milk, but I, you know what? I think this. I'm feeling pretty happy now. Get a little bit more off it, and then we'll go. We are timing this, so I do want to kind of boogie. Although I'm not going to be beat any records in this plane. I've got a feeling. Speed demon, she is not. Alright, how are we doing here? I think I'm going to head on over to the next uh, peak. So I don't want to get back of this stuff over here. Kind of go all the way around the edge. Well, actually, I got to to get to this waypoint, don't I? And where are we heading? This stuff here, okay. I want to get around this point here. All right, let's boogie. Boogie, and we are. Look at that blistering pace. <laughs> it's a pretty airplane, though. I do like it. I always like the Flanagan's, just a. Got a nice feel to it. Those forward swap wings are just cool. You know what? My gear is up. Put that away, that'll help a little. Derp. It's a pretty airplane, huh? I like it. You gotta dig the dude's hat. It's just styling. Yeah. Always head turns with a rudder. Ah, oh, I like this ten times more now. <laughs> That's cool. All right, I'm gonna get back. Uh, better get back in the cockpit and start flying this thing. We of course screwing around with the camera. Okay, yeah, I don't want to come in there. It's gonna be sink over there, so let's hopefully we can make it over here. Oh, this is this here. Oh, okay. Derp, we are actually, uh... We're not heading to that range. We're actually on the... Okay, we're where we need to be good. I think we're actually above this, so we're... Yeah, we're getting a little bit of lift off that. Alright, let's make a run for the waypoint. Waypoint 1. Let's see where we gotta go from there. Just make this thing fly straight. Straight into the wind, so this should be crazy slow. Yeah, what's my ground speed? Uh, 32 knots ground speed. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, 13 knot headwind. Ground speed 31. Holy cow. My pet turtle can run faster than that. Lovely Scottish scenery. Yes. Alright, here we go. Once I hit that, I guess we're gonna make a well, we're gonna figure out where I'm going once I hit it. Alright, so I think we're going back here. Yeah, I could go around here and then scoot through there maybe, but I'm better off going back here. So let's do that. Oh, we don't want you. Kind of backtracking, I suppose. Uh, yeah, let's get a piece of this. This looks good over here. 
it should work nicely. That wind I feel here. We have to get this thing moving for a second there. You see that? Yeah, once I get on this rock face, maybe I'll drop the nose a little bit, get some speed up, but I would like to get up the top of this. To all 505 feet of it. Really, that's it? Jeez. <laughs> On a mountain, it's a molehill. Yes. Put you away for a bit. Interesting path there, I guess. Scots, Celts, and stuff have been. Walking up and down that for generations, I'm sure. William Wallace himself. It's quite possible, too. At the very least, Sean Connery's taking a stroll down here. second or yeah it's probably meters per second right yes so this should work for us good here as I said I feel blind without the actual tone but not exactly a blistering base going up is it uh, it's working into it. Yeah, well, give me a bump. Alright, let's scoot over to the next area here. It's more like I can make that pass. It's a bit dodgy if I try. Shit, there we go. Um, what do you think? Think I can make that? sink over here and lose a lot of height and that's not going to end well so let's go let's do the smart thing and go around yeah see I'm totally downwind with this that's not where the wind is it's a bad spot to be in I'm expecting sink in a sec although I might be high enough to avoid it but once we get around the side of this we should be good to go Here and we go over to Uban number two. Yeah, okay, there's the sink. I feel it a bit now. Not too bad though. Alright, now I should get a big, big wave of lift here now. Let's drop the nose a little bit, get some speed going. Three meters per second at least. That make me happy. Not seeing much speed yet though. Yeah, okay, there we go. That's what I want to see. I can just keep the nose down. This glider just you know what? I'm just gonna trim down a little bit more. Doing a timed trial if I'm just keeping constantly going, dropping below the uh, minimum speed. Okay, anyway, oh, yeah, now this is working good. Coming up on four meters a second, and we're doing almost 80 kilometers an hour. We're just flying. Ooh, Blanik. Good. Going up. 
up. Alright, so we're coming up on six hundred point six kilometers. Yeah, kilometers high. Hmm. I have to let that read that thing. However, I have to go over to our waypoint over here, which is... Hmm. Let's see here. Um, so we... Yeah. Think of the best way out back, we have to go down here afterwards. Alright, let's just dart out there and get that waypoint, and then we can decide where we're going from there. Make up the lift back on here so I can probably afford to go pretty fast down here. So now I can get this lift back. Let's see what this puppy can do. Oh, they're gonna go now. Cranking. And wings twitching. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm actually going to backtrack, go through this pass here, or I could go around here. You know, that's smart to go around here, isn't it? Well, it's smarter, but that's, yeah, we're going to just do a about face and go back that way. That'll work. Give me here. There. And I'm going to call that good. Okay, let's crank this puppy around. Back that away, we should go. Making videos and trying to do uh, time runs at the same time. Yeah, not the best plan in the world. Alright, let's get up here. Keep the speed going a little bit. I'm not going to get a lot of lift on this once I go around the edge here, so I think I'm going to kind of go up here so I'm going to do that sort of deal. Or something, I don't know, let's find out. to the horizon anymore. I'm just going to have to go by the airspeed. Get my nose position right. Or I could look that way. Okay. A little bit of bump off here and then we'll spin around. It's making me happy. Going up, going up, going up. Alright, let's spin around. Oh yeah, there's some real lift. I'm liking that. Four meters per second. And the air sp wind speed has actually gone up one knot. So we're up to 14 knots up here. That's because we're going higher. Makes me happy too. Alright, so I got a feeling this wind direction is not going to play nice going down here, so... Yeah, that's 
Yeah, it's still got a little bit of angle on the hill. Might still get something off of this. So where are we going then? Um, go along here maybe. Yeah, we actually want to get over this now. Got everything we're going to get out of that, so let's cut over. Head on over there. Go straight downwind. Blast through the sink here on the other side. There. Keep reminding me to keep the nose down, will you? Alright, scenery's getting a little bit more interesting now. It's not quite as uh, flat as it was. Got a little bit of snow up here. That's kind of nice. This is ortho for XP. Uh, Zoom level 17 Bing imagery, I believe. Alright, so we get on top of here, I think we'll be good. kind of missed the variant zoom, so I'm going to look down a lot to see the, uh, the actual variometer, which I think is what's causing me to uh, be bringing the nose up all the time so I can see the gauges. That's pretty good there, I guess. Get my head position just right. Alright, good. We're climbing right on top of this already. Very nice. So what's next? What is next? So we're going to hit this guy here. So we'll scoot off here, go back here. We just got a whole bunch of noise back here, though. Yeah, that's going to be ugly. Really ugly in here. I don't know what I'm going to do to get to that. Oh boy. That's directly downwind, this whole thing here. I may not even go in there, you know what? I might just scoot up here. And uh, maybe hop over that. Hop back somehow? <laughs> I don't know. going here, so what am I looking at? That's, uh, and we want to get into, wow that doesn't look like much from over there does it? That's all that is. Hmm. It's debatable whether it's even worth going over there to get that. I think we have to though. Cross over this water here. Sink here going through this. Get those down. Get the speed going here. Get through the sink as fast as possible. Not as fast as possible, but let's not linger in time. Yeah, I could go up there before I proceed, but. I could go for safe, or I could go for fast. They're really the same thing. Yeah, it's not all that much higher. Come through two, three hundred feet, maybe. You watch, I'll be like wishing I had two, three hundred feet in a few minutes. <laughs> we'll see. Too far back into all this. I want to keep running down here. Let's see if I can get a little bump off of here. So nothing, in, nothing but sink right now. All right, here we go. Now we're getting into the 
lift, good. Makes me happy. Don't really need it to take me up, I just don't want to go down anymore. Go any lower than this. I'm really feeling it, am I? Oh, this is tricky stuff, tricky stuff. Oof, don't like what I'm seeing ahead. Not a lot to play with down there. So sustaining me a little bit. Can't see I'm really going up though. Yeah, this next part's going to be a bit dodgy. Get a piece. Yeah, it's, this is where it's going to be. Uh, oh. Gotta go here first. So let's get there first and then let's see what I can do. Get up here first and then fly over that. Come back. Ah, oh, jeez, I don't know. This is so tough. This wind direction is not good for this. It's blowing straight down this ridge, which means I'll get something if I stay right on her, like a raises back, but not much else if I go either side of it. It's never really worked for me very well. And look how bumpy that is up there. Or is that this? Ah, that's this here. That actually looks pretty smooth. Alright. Well, let's get our waypoint and then see if we can ride that ridge up. Time for flyby. Stay to the right of this bump over here. Especially as the wind's blowing us uh, to the left here. Wind's coming from over there, it is. Blowing that away. Yeah, I don't realize how much this wind affects this glider because it is so slow. I gotta keep that SP going. there. Yeah, I gotta hand it to you, Peter. You make yourself a one mean and challenging course, that's for sure. This ain't easy. That's why we like it. I can get a little bump off this bump here. It's good. Scooting here, get my waypoint, and then kind of come back the way I came. Yeah, this is going to be messy, this whole next part here. Alright, let's get over here and get the waypoint. Okay, that means flying into the uh, shadow of this hill here, though. I get that, I'm gonna backtrack. Go back the way I came.
about face. I'm gonna run this little skinny ridge ridge line up here, hopefully. Take us down to the fourth point. And oh, we've got this thing here. That's my plan anyway. It's ill thought out as possible. Yeah, I don't know if it's a good idea or not. Yeah, it doesn't look good down there, does it? That's where my waypoint is, though. Okay, we are sinking horribly right now. Why are we sinking horribly? Okay, now we're getting some lift. It's the sink before the lift, right? Go up there, I'll be happy. Sinking. This is going to be a struggle. Yeah, I can tell already. Just not enough wind to pull off little skinny things like this. I don't know if it's going to work. Come on, be more over here, actually. Up here, kind of stay with these contours, kind of switch directions. Now I'm just not getting much lift off of this at all, am I? It's not good. It should be a little. It's going so slow. This is bad, 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 bad. It's going to be possible. It might be uh, in trouble here. Rethink my plan here. Oh, that's horrible. Come on. Get that airspeed back. Man, it's going to be brutal getting up here. Alright, now I'm getting some lift here, I think. Just keep the airspeed going. It's so hard to uh, drop the nose when you're this low. Working though, I seem to be going up. That, that, that pass was higher than the previous one, so that's all I need. That's what we want. I just need some airspeed. Yes, there is a version of this Blanik that comes with this thing that has a jet engine on the back of it. I maybe put that at the end of this video or make another video about it, but it's a bit silly. But it has a jet engine on the back of it. It, uh, or on the top of um, the turtle's back right up there, and it, it goes rather fast. It, it does brilliant aerobatics. <laughs> I have actually seen a, a jet cloud uh, Blanik before in real life, although it was a model airplane one, but it was still absolutely impressive. It's a real jet engine. Oh no. <sighs> Stop! A little aggressive with the uh, maneuvers there, talking about jet engines and stuff. How much did that cost me, I wonder? Oof. Come on, you gotta give me some lift here, I'm in trouble. I hate flying this low. I hate, hate, hate it. it just makes me nervous. Don't really get why this isn't producing more lift than it is, though. Ground effect there, can you hear it? Oof. Actually, this side feels a little safer. Maybe I should go around the other side. Maybe that's my mistake. Yeah, this is going to be kind of frustrating to watch this. It's, uh, just as frustrating as it is to actually fly it, this is uh, quite, quite difficult. Too 
more now. Let's go back. All right, yeah, we gotta kind of turn around halfway through this hill. Let's pass. I'm not going all the way around the other side. It's not pretty back there. Neither is this airspeed. Okay, there it is. It's getting close. Not good though. Never really made any progress in that I turn at all. Darn it. I think I might have to rethink this. So I lose it. I lose stuff in the turns every time I make a turn, of course, but uh The side of it is actually producing lift, even though the wind's kind of going straight down. It. No, it's actually not, is it? No. Uh, it is producing lift. Well, maybe I'm just going to win this. Yeah, we're going up. It's actually working back here. Shouldn't be. Oh, this can't be good here. Now I'm not going the best there. Well, uh, no, I don't like that. Let's go back along here. That was working. Two are in better shape. We shouldn't take any giant risks. Alright, give me a little bit more height this time. Yeah, I don't know if this is working. <laughs> Should have gone probably around the other side where it's all bumpy and crazy. This is definitely the trickiest part of this though. Alright, I'm getting lift again, this is good. I gotta get inside my line here though. Because I don't feel like I'm going up. Alright, that's actually working pretty good now. Either. All right, let's turn around here and go back. A nice relaxing glide, if you're not. Horrible sink back here. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Don't overreact. Hope I can get something off here back here. Let's see. I feel like I'm dropping, dropping, dropping. Give me something here. This is kind of square under the wind, the wind at my back right now, so it should work. Yep, getting a little off there. I'd say the wind's blowing just pretty much up my back right now, and yet I'm getting lift off this, which is kind of surprising me. My understanding of ridge lift, that shouldn't be a thing, but uh, maybe it's wrapping around somehow, or there's a little bit of gray area there where it can uh, sort of work. I need to get on the other side of this, though, which could be a problem. It's a pass here, I believe. Or I could just fly around the end. Yeah, I'll get over that, maybe I'd be a good chance. Oh, that's pretty high up there. Okay. I get back. Mm. Yeah, I gotta get over that pass there. That's probably my best bet. That looks really high. Let's climb up here. 
Yeah, I wasted a lot of time coming through here, didn't I? Doing this ridge run thing. <laughs> ridge run. The whole thing's a ridge run. What am I talking about? Um, the, uh, doing going up that spine there. That's, that's really not paid off for me very well, is it? Uh, looking around on here and all that time. Probably should have just come right back here from the get-go. Lesson learned. Next time, maybe. Okay, let's run along here and get a little bit of up on top of this. I just got to get over this, which I think I've already done. Good. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Okay, let's make our turn. Gonna try to get all the way to the top of this. Bit. I don't want to make this time too embarrassing. Alright, we're past the bit. We made it over the pass. That's good. Phew, that was easy. <laughs> yeah. Maybe just go from here to there. Just straight away without going back here. Oh no, I goodness, I gotta go for this waypoint. Okay. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Tricky stuff. Alright, so this is kind of over here somewhere. Where all this, uh, somebody spilled a lot of paint over here, apparently. Oh boy, so how am I going to get out of here is the next question. Got to fly upwind. Somehow. Who are all this stuff? Oh boy. Hmm. Don't know. Well, this is definitely teaching me a lot. A lot of how and what not to do. Yeah, I'm surprised that worked. That, that, that ridge line here worked. Going down there. Look at this wind angle, it doesn't. Doesn't look like it should have. Yeah, I suppose it is sort of blowing on that. So, should be able to go down here, which is there. Yeah. Okay, so I should be able to run this. Be back in here somehow. Don't know. Kind of uh, lost in the wilderness here, in the highlands. Wow, I feel like I'm going nowhere right now, going upwind. <laughs> Do I even want to see my ground speed? It's even given up giving me my ground speed. It's, it's horrible. That's weird. Why has it done that? Don't know. Okay, well, we're sinking, and we're barely moving upwind. It's not a good combination. Once I get around the corner here, I'll be alright, but oof. Okay, we're at that waypoint. Very good. So, I actually want to go that way, but I don't see there's a mountain in my way. So, hopefully, I'll get something off this edge here. Hopefully, let's see. Yeah, kind of getting a little bump here, maybe. I'll sink. Sinking, sinking more, sinking more and more and more. Come on. Yeah, we are going straight into the wind. I'd be very surprised if this hill gives me anything but either nothing or just sink. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. hello. Come on. Okay, that's making me a bit happier. Going up down. Who designs this course? Oh, now we're really going down. Yeah, it could be good to get up on top of this, maybe. Good for now, anyway. Alright, as soon as 
I get over this, we should be good to kill him. Seedry's looking uh, a lot more boar like boar. Big body boars. Hounds of the Baskervilles and the stuff. Or was that in Scotland? I don't know. There was definitely a very bad hound out on the moor. So I'd like to go in there, but it's a bit tight. I'd like to get on top of this, though. Sinking, sinking, sinking. Give me something here. I'm going to turn right. Yeah, that's a nice bump. Alright, let's get out behind this. Brutal cost, brutal. Really making me work. Love it every minute of it. Bye bye. Gotta figure out how to get a very very tone on this glider, it would make all the difference. I mean it's perfectly flyable, but I just feel like I'm inside the cockpit a lot more than I would like to be. I like to be outside the cockpit. Really watching this thing. Ooh, I'm loving this lift though. Oh yeah, that's the first time we've seen five. Ha <laughs> ha! Splendid, marvelous, very nice. Okay, let's follow this round and then. There. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I have actually been to Scotland once, apparently. However, I wasn't actually born yet. Apparently my mother was pregnant. She came to Edinburgh, I believe it was. That was many, many years ago. Oof, the wrong side of this ridge, come on. Make it over, make it over. Oof, back it, back it, back it. She has a massive lift on the other side of it, though. Nope, otherwise we're gonna be landing. Nope, there it is, boing. Pop up blue way. Oh yeah, beautiful. Making me happy, making me happy. Ooh, still got a long way to go, don't we? Well, we've got about 11 nautical miles to the finish line. It's actually not that far. Don't look that bad, actually. I just got absolutely nothing to play with back there. Alright, I'm going to do some planning here. My last big hill here. So, what the heck are we gonna do to get home? We're gonna have to go around here, maybe. There's nothing this way to use at all. So, I'm gonna have to go somehow past that, I think. I really don't think there's anything over there I can use, is there? Well, just look at that. Well, that does not look good. Don't like any of that. 
Alright, so... Um, head for this bend... bien... dun... do do there is something. Or do we just go straight for it and hope we don't have height? Oh, I think that's kind of on the way enough that we can take a diversion over to that side of there, just there. That looked like ahead of us. Let's see. Didn't have this giant bar in my way, I can probably tell. So it's just down there. Okay, we can go there. Way below us, though, which means to me that we probably shouldn't even try because that's uh, we're going to be over that by the time we get there. In which case, this diversion is not going to give us any benefit. It's just going to. We would be high, we'd be better off if we didn't go over that, I'm thinking. Especially since it's straight into the wind. Yeah, I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to go for it and hope i got enough uh, enough height here to make it. This is the part of the video where I'm, uh, I messed up, isn't it? <laughs> I made this bad decision. Or it's a really good position, we shall see. Alright, I'm just gonna go for it. I've only got all this way to go. Gotta allow for the wind too, don't I? Okay. Should use our uh, little map thing here, so I need to be going around 285 or something. Around there. So I'm gonna kinda head for that there. Okay, can do that. Which part did I say? <laughs> Jeez. One of them hills. This one. Let's go there. One I can't see because it's behind that. Alright. What speed to go though? I think it says down here on that cryptic thing here. Hey, I never know what all these B things mean. I really should look that up one of these days and learn this. I think that's really telling me G Max. I don't know what that means. Not helping me. Just hope we can get over there and actually make it. We are just crawling at 33 knots. Now it's telling me the uh, ground speed again. Earlier it wasn't. I don't understand that. 30, 30 knots ground speed though. Yeah, that's brutal. But we've got some height here. These houses look pretty small. I can't even see the cars, so I'm going to decide where we're up pretty high. Well, actually, I know where we're at 3,360 feet above the sea level. I'm pretty sure that's the sea down there, so I think we're okay. I think we got this. <clears throat> if I get there with 2,000 feet to go, I'm going to be like, why didn't I go faster? Let's do 80. Bird cruising. Okay, let's bring it there. Mm -hmm, pretty, pretty countryside. Look at that. Do a little crabbing, are we? Look at that. Off into the wild. We under it goes. <clears throat> Need to go faster, but you know that jet engine would be really nice right about now. That would be cheating. Yeah, it's our airport right there. So. Ooh, that doesn't look that far away. It's about uh, I don't know how far that is. It's probably about 
seven miles maybe. We still got this. Yeah, next run I know what I'm doing. Well, of course the wind could be different next run, so I don't know, but uh, yeah. Every time this is the second time I run this. Uh, first time, as I said, I landed out and had to kind of yeah, that didn't go well. Hopefully this will be the first time I actually finish the course, so next time should be a blistering uh, speed. Don't know what I'm going to fly it in, but uh, yeah, it's kind of comparing apple, apples to oranges flying different gliders on these things, but uh, I like to think some gliders are, well, are better suited to certain things versus other gliders are better suited to other things, you know. This glider might be really good in strong winds when you've got lots and lots of lift and uh, you can really stick the nose down and go fast. Although I suspect the modern glass sailplanes are going to outperform something like this every time, but... Blinic is a fine ship she is. Don't panic, it's a Blanik. Work on that glass a little bit. It's a little too clean. Some shinies on there, some reflections or something. But we like the head, dude who can move his head. That's just cool. Not helping my glide ratio though. Alright, so I'm still doing about 80. I feel like I maybe going a little bit faster. Do we dare go 85? Push it a little bit more. Let's go 90. Oh, now we're cruising. Yeah, looking at my descent rate, I'm, drop, I'm going faster. It's really not going up that much. It's not proportional. Like, if I go up faster and faster, this doesn't necessarily drop in a linear fashion compared to that. It seems like it's going to go even faster. I'm going to try like 90. That's 60, 70. There's too many tick marks between these things. 80, 90. Doesn't make any sense. Unless that's the 100 there. <laughs> no idea. Alright, so what is that doing? My uh, descent rate. 100 knots and it's 100 miles an hour. Oh, I was doing 100 miles. I have no idea. It doesn't seem like it's affecting me that much, so I'm going to keep going fast. Fast ish. It's a relative term. Cruising. Hopefully I'll have enough altitude to do a loop. It's an aerobatic glider after all. Man, the things so I've seen this thing do. Uh, actually, the Red Bull does a lot of that crazy stunts in the, the Blinic. If you've seen any of their videos, and the, apparently they like had some guy like climb from one glider to the next or something. A bunch of they do a lot of stuff with like a. Uh, like the flares on the wing, wing tips. And, you know, there's this really nice aerobatic sort of formation flying at night and twilight and stuff. It just looks really cool. Yeah, that's why as soon as I saw there was a Blanik available, I was like, I gotta have a Blanik. It's just a cool airplane. You know, it's growing on me. I mean, I, I'm clearly, I think the other planes are. Well, you know, I'll outperform this in certain ways, but it's, it's got its charm. Kind of like it. I only paid like, I don't know what I paid for it. It wasn't very much though. 
What is this thing going for? I don't even remember. Yeah, it's like less than 20 bucks. Really can't go wrong. And you get a jet with it, too. I flew the jet a little bit. It goes like crazy fast. It's not really my thing, but, uh... Yeah. Alright, we are going to complete this course. It's gonna actually happen. Unless the wings fall off right now. I think we are golden. Excellent. Cracking now, look at the gear. Move in, move in, move in. Yeah, no. The set rate is pretty extreme though. It's the bad dash for the finish finish line. Yes, excellent. Very good. Yeah, I was going to show you the jet version of this, but I think I'll have to wait for another video. This is a, clearly quite a long video already. And if you're still here, well, thank you for watching. I'm very impressed. I must really like the blending of this course or something. It's not my sparkling personality, that's for sure. Just seconds away from victory. It's the fastest blank to ever go around this course. It's also the first blank to ever go around this course, as far as I know. Come back here. Alright, get ready to hit the stopwatch. There. Excited. I want to post this amazing time for everyone to admire and say who and are about. Yeah. So yeah, now I see some cars. We're getting lower. Okay, think around the stopwatch. What's it gonna be? go. And time. Look at that. One hour and seven minutes. Good grief. Yeah, that's a bit of a thing. Alright, I think I'd love to do a loop. So well, maybe we're not going to do that. <laughs> we need to think about landing though, so let's do a high, high speed pass and then we'll land. Yeehaw. Okay, so let's get some spoilers out. Let's flaps go in here. What's my speed first? Crazy spoilers on this thing. This is the other cool thing about this plane. I can get him out. Wait, no, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, look at that. Double spoilers. How cool is that? Right, I better get back inside and fly the thing, but oh god, where's the airport? <laughs> there it is. Yeah, the dual spoilers are just the coolest thing ever. I don't think I can see it from here. No. Alright, you better fly the airplane. Show them off on the ground. Okay, 
blades are out. Yeah, isn't that cool? Look at those things. It's got flaps and spoilers. It's a proper glider, it is. Plenty of height to play with here. So I'm gonna put down the grass next to the thing here. Well, I better make this a decent light. Oh, there's the puppy lights right there. That's not good, is it? Let's go a little wider. Don't crash into the puppy lights, they're very expensive. We're going to cross one here, don't we? Got a lot of cross one. Wee. Brakes. Crazy castering wheel in the back there. We have arrived! Woohoo! Alright, Blenick. Turn that off, turn that off. And then step out of this beastie. Or maybe not. It's the Blenick! Yes, I like it. Yeah, I, I think I might fly that some more. It's kind of fun. I don't know if I'd recommend buying it per se, but uh, you know, if you got 20 bucks kicking around, I think you could do worse. Yeah, that's a fun little. Uh, she's a fun little plane. She is. I like it. As I said, you gotta have a planet. It's just one of those things you just have to. Have. If you ever see one in real life? You're like, I gotta have one of those. All right. Well, this video is obscenely long, so I'm gonna end this here. Um, all right, well, I want to thank uh, a couple of people here real quickly. One more time. Well, I want to thank uh, Aereo for making the Blanick. It's a fine little bit. A uh, link to this will be in the descriptions. And I want to thank Peter for making the, uh, the awesome course here. That was uh, very cool. And I want to thank Richard for the Windshare mod, the X Windshare mod, which again will be in these descriptions. So, uh, very good then. Excellent. I've done another task. Alright, well thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up or a like or whatever they call it these days, and I would love to hear from you in the comments. And uh, yes, also uh, check for my uh, Facebook group. Uh, it's in the descriptions as well. And uh, come fly with me. It'd be awesome fun. Alright, take care and thank you for watching.